Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are talking about top patterns that you can use with two yards of fabric and under. So a couple of weeks ago, I posted a video that um, featured dress patterns that you can use with two yards of fabric. And if you haven't had a chance to check out that video, I'll go ahead and link it in this video here and you can go over and check it out. I am going to create a playlist and you'll see in this playlist, you'll see all these different patterns that you can use um, for two yards of fabric and under. So again, today is going to be focusing on top patterns and I'll post a video sometime next week or the week after with um, pant patterns as well. So stay tuned for that video. So the first pattern I wanna start us off with is the Simplicity 8384, which is one of my favorite patterns. So it has dresses in this pattern as well as a top. So the top, for the sake of this video, we're talking about the top and that is view D and it does require a little under two yards of fabric for this. So I really like this top. It has a really nice um, length variation there. So it comes just above the high hip there and you have a, a long medium sleeve and it's a two piece sleeve. So that's really nice that it has a two piece sleeve and then you have a button front um, a button center front for your bodice. You have a stand up collar, which is really nice. I really like this top and I think it would be so cute, especially now that we're transitioning in to fall. I think this would make a lovely top for this time of year. Next is the new look in 6626. Now this is another uh, wardrobe pattern of sorts. You have your dress, you have your top, and then you also have a skirt. Now all the pattern pieces within this particular pattern will require somewhere around two yards of fabric, which is really nice because you can make each one of these pieces with two yards and under. Um, but again, we're talking about the top pattern. This is a pattern for knits. So your, your dress, your skirt, and your top all requires knit fabric. Uh, your top, you only have, I believe, two, maybe three pattern pieces at the most. You have your front and your back. You have a grown-on sleeve, which is really nice, which is a drop sleeve. And you can also put ties around the neckline. It has a really small, modest uh, V slit opening for your neckline, which I think is really cute and fun. So I think this would be a really nice pattern if you want to make something really quick and easy with a knit and you are um, limiting yourself in regards of how much fabric that you're using, this would definitely be a really great um, top pattern to use. There's also the McCall's M8287 pattern. All of the tops within this envelope require a little under two yards of fabric. The patterns come in sizes 6 to 14 and then 16 to 24 is rated as easy. It's a learn to sew pattern. You have uh, a variation of different necklines. So you have a square neckline. You also have a rounded neckline. You can put a collar on one of the neckline, which is view D. You also have uh, body darts in the front of the garment. You have the option of doing long sleeve, short sleeve, puff sleeve, or no sleeve at all. So it's a really nice top, I think, in my opinion, because you get you can get some different styles out of this, and it comes um, it goes up to that size twenty four, which I really like. And then also it has an invisible zipper as well. So I think that top will be really fun. There's also the McCall's M eighty two fifty five, which is a Mrs. top. And I wanted to make this top and I've had this top on my list for some time now and I haven't had the chance to make it. But just like the previous top, you have different sleeve variations. You have the option of doing no sleeve, a short sleeve, a long sleeve, a three quarter length sleeve. You have um, a rounded neckline. You have the option of doing a tulip hem for one of the tops there or you could just do your regular squared off hem this pattern is interesting because you have uh sizes 8 to 16 18 w to 24 w and 26 w to 32 w so it's size inclusive um in terms of like you know the sizes that you see for plus sizes for commercial patterns is very size inclusive so i like that there's the mccall's m8220 which is a 
pattern that is a Mrs. Top that have uh, grown on sleeves. So you have these really nice um, grown on sleeves and uh, dome and sleeve options. You have a, a longer sleeve, a shorter sleeve. You also have this V neckline with a band that goes down the center front. And um, on that band, you're going to be um, attaching buttons and also putting button holes for your closures. It comes in sizes extra small to medium. And I believe it has a, another envelope for your extra large and your 2XL as well. Um, again, it's a V neckline, domain blouses, multiple sleeve variations. And you also have the option of doing a mask that comes with the pattern as well. Um, don't know if you guys are still sewing masks or not, but I thought I would mention that. The McCall's M8067, this is a TNT pattern of mine, which I absolutely love. Um, you definitely can make all of these different variations with two yards of fabric. Uh, you have the option of doing a button front top that have either a short sleeve with no collar, you have a V-neck line, or you can do the option that has a collar on it. And you also have a long sleeve option that has a cuff as well and a continuous lap, I believe, on the bottom of the of the um, the sleeve there. So, yeah, it's all all of these different variations are loose fitting tops that have facings and pockets and sleeve variations. And you also have your collar variations and your lapels as well. So I think that is a really great pattern if you are wanting a button up top. Again, like I said, that was my TNT a couple years ago. I haven't made it in a couple years, but I would definitely um, recommend that pattern. The McCall's M8115 is a Mrs. Top. It's a loose fitting pullover top with the full wrap top and hem variations. I really like this. You have um, different lengths for your dolman sleeve. So you have a short dolman sleeve and a long dolman sleeve. And then you also have elastic that you're putting at the back of your garment to cinch in your garment in the back as well. So I think that's really cute and definitely your two yard project. McCall's M8040 is another Mrs. Top. Come in sizes 6 to 14 and then 16 to 22. It's an easy pattern. V-neck with princess seams. Button front top that have short and long puff sleeve options. And uh, it's a really fun pattern. I've made a mock-up of this before. And I needed to try to take out some of the fullness of the puff sleeve. And I never went back to, to finish that. But... If I can remember, it was a decent pattern, but I just never chose my final fabric and I never went from, you know, the mock-up phase to my final garment. But I do think it'll be a really great pattern. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, you will need to take out some of the fullness and the cap height as well. You might need to reduce the cap height. But other than that, I think it's a decent pattern. There's the Butterick B6848, which is a Mrs. T-shirt and tank top pattern. This Butterick B6848 is an option. You have a, a high boat neckline. I think it's a higher boat neckline. It may be a crew neckline. Uh, and you have, um, you know, the option of doing a three length, uh, a three quarter length sleeve and a short sleeve. And it's average. It's a close fitting pullover uh, top that has binding around the neckline and a stitched hem. So very simple and easy. There's also the Butterick B6753, which is a Mrs. Petite button-down shirt. Again, if you're looking for your button-down shirt, this would probably be a really good, easy one here. You have a um, mid-length sleeve as well as a short sleeve and then also a no-sleeve option. It's, it's classified as very easy, a semi-fitted shirt that has a collar button down closure and a shaped narrow hem. You have chest pockets, three three quarter length sleeves, as well as a cuff that you could put on your sleeve for view A and B. You have slight side slits for view C and D and a short sleeve for view um, D as well. And you have the sleeveless option for view E. There's the Friday Pattern Company square neck, square neck Top, which is just a really basic, easy top. What I like about Friday Pattern Company is most of their patterns go up to a size 7X, which is very size inclusive, so I really like that. So this is a um, 
a square neck, boxy, dolman sleeve top with um, a slightly cropped um, bottom. So the bottom of your top is slightly cropped. But you can also lengthen it as well, which I think would be really fun. There's the So Love Patterns Wick Comb Top. So this is um, a PDF version. I think you only get it in the PDF version for this one. I really like the neckline of this top. You also have your your top is a you can do a long short or mid length sleeve and you can put elastic at the edge of the sleeve for the one that's mid length which i think is really fun i really love this top especially the neckline of the top there's the closet core um cilio top which i think is really fun as well this one is really popular you can find a ton of reviews on this top here, which I think is really fun. And then there's the Geneva V-neck blouse by, um, I always say this pattern company's name wrong, Lizette, I believe. I'll put it here. <laughs> I always say this company's name wrong. But this is another button front top, which I think is really fun. It's a, a semi-loose fitting top that has buttons going down the center front. You have a V-neck line and you have, um, uh, different sleeve variations, including a sleeve that has like a little band at the bottom. And then you have a sleeve that's just a regular sleeve that you can put a cuff at the bottom as well. And with this one, it comes in um, cup sizes. So you have your A, B, your C, and your D cup sizes. So the top that I'm wearing is the Friday Pattern Company's Patina Blouse. And I made this last year for uh, this time of year. And as you can see, it is a beautiful chalet fabric that has these beautiful leaves going throughout the fabric. Now, I made this top with just under two yards of fabric. But again, uh, it just depends on the size that you choose for your pattern. You might be able to make this for two yards and under so I do suggest if you like this type of style for your garments like your button up blouses that have your collars here I would definitely say go with this it's a beautiful beautiful pattern I really enjoyed it and I do have a uh, review here on the channel I'll put it in the description box below so you can go over and check out the review and uh, you can see if you are interested in this blouse here it's very very beautiful it has um, some gathering on the sleeve head here you have your really nice um, pointed collar here and again it's a button front shirt so it's really fun and depending on what type of fabric you use you can get a drapey look or you could get a, a little bit more of a stiffer look if you pick a cotton or a cotton sateen, sateen fabric so it is a really great pattern and i do suggest um, going with this type of pattern as well thank you all for tuning in today i hope you had fun watching this video if you did make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and if this is your first time welcome to the channel and don't forget to subscribe on your way out if you find found this content enjoyable thank you again and i can't wait to talk to y'all later bye